I'm gonna try to make this video as fast as possible because I am currently using my window like as lighting and it's getting dark by minutes so hopefully we don't lose too much lighting. Today's video is just gonna be an update video on my house being haunted. This is part three of the series. The house I'm talking about is the one that I'm living at right now. It's for sure a haunted house. It does have a ghost. Um, that's for a fact. But I wouldn't say that this ghost is a bad ghost because I'm getting like good vibes off of it And I'm not saying that I'm like a medium and I know and like I feel things But I can tell because if it was like a really mean ghost And if it wanted to hurt me or if it wanted me to get out of the room or whatever It would do other things So yeah, I did my research That's what happens when you live in a haunted house Like you know everything about paranormal activity like everything that has to do with ghosts, you kind of do your research and you're kind of like pro at it. Like you know everything. Honestly, I'm just going to tell you guys the truth and if you don't want to believe it, you don't have to believe it. I wouldn't be sitting here lying to get views about paranormal activity because that would just go against everything I believe in because I don't joke around when it comes to paranormal activity. I feel like you have to be complete sicko to joke about that because I am a true believer. Like. I literally believe in paranormal activity. I believe there's afterlife. I believe that I literally believe that there is God. I know that there's devil. Like I, I believe in all of that. So yeah, I would not joke around about that and I wouldn't talk about this if it wasn't true. So again, grab your popcorn girl because I'm gonna be talking about one incident that happened to me about three weeks ago. Yeah, about three or two weeks ago this happened. And um, if I was lying, I would add more incidences, but this was the only incident that had happened. So, and it was really scary. So if you don't like scary stuff, exit out of the video. Go watch another one of my videos. I have a lot of them, yes. And if you're new here and you haven't seen my other two videos, I will link them down below. If you wanna check them out, check them out. They're not really connected by any means, but if you like paranormal stuff, you will definitely like those because um, my last one had video footage and it had like proof of everything I was telling you about so definitely check that one out. So anyway, um, today's story time happened about two weeks ago and um, it was really scary. So that's what happened. So about two weeks ago I got home from seeing my boyfriend and um, it was like around 12 o'clock in the morning or so and per usual like my parents are already asleep by then. So the house is nice and quiet and it's like nice and dark, great, I love that when everyone's sleeping, I'm by myself and it's dark, I like it, I don't like it. So every time I enter the house, like it's not scary, like I'm kind of used to it, I don't really feel like there's a presence or anything like that, but it is scary and it's like one of those things I literally like l run for my life whenever I'm running up the stairs, but I feel like everyone does that. So I'm short I went to my room I changed into my pajamas and then I went to the bathroom I you know took off my makeup got ready to go to bed and I went to bed like after like 10 to 15 minutes of being in bed my door started doing its whole thing where it like opens closes open closes and that was on me that was my fault because I completely forgot to close the door so I went up I closed the door I went back to sleep and I'm just watching the hills and yeah, I started watching the hills like literally from season one Like I'm on season three right now. So yeah, I've never seen the hills before so I started watching it and That's kind of like my night routine. I turn on the hills and I fall asleep to it So as I'm falling asleep to it for some reason I felt like something was with me like in my room and that has never ever 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 happened to me Like literally like I've never had that feeling ever in my house where like I felt like someone was there the only time I would feel it is whatever my door would do its thing, but like, I didn't really feel it like next to me or close to me. Hold on, my battery's dying, I'm gonna go change it. Be right back. Hey, sorry guys, I had to change my battery because it was dying. <laughs> I feel like the ghost does not want me to talk about this. <laughs> yeah, I felt like literally someone standing over me. And again, I've never had that feeling before, ever in my house, never in my old house. I was so scared that I literally took my phone and I turned on the flashlight and I was just like, for about a solid minute, I was with my flashlight, my iPhone flashlight, just like looking around, make sure that no one is there. So yeah, that was pretty creepy. And then I kind of fell asleep to the hills. Now, this is where shit gets real. Like, this is where I literally had it like a panic attack. So basically, as I'm sleeping, 
I hear something, listen, like, he, like, now that I'm thinking about it, it's, like, full out straight out of a scary movie. And the fact that this happened to me, it just makes me so scared. Okay, basically, this is what happened. In the middle of the night, I woke up. But it was one of those things where your brain wakes up, but your eyes are still closed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're up and you know you woke up, but your eyes are closed. Right when that happens, when my brain turns on and my eyes are still shut and I'm like, okay, I just woke up. The moment I, like, that happens to me, like, the moment my brain wakes up, my eyes are still closed, like, that moment, I hear something fall. And it wasn't something like, it wasn't like wood cracking, it was literally something heavy fall on the floor in my room. And right after that fall, I hear a whisper in my fucking... I have goosebumps right now thinking about it. The reason I'm getting goosebumps right now and the reason I'm getting so nervous right now is because I remember the voice. And basically, I, right after I heard that noise of something falling, I heard a whisper in my ear saying, something just fell. Like, can someone please explain to me, am I going crazy? Is it something mentally that's wrong with me? Or was it paranormal activity? Because I have never ever heard voices in my head. I've never heard whispers. But this wasn't in my head. This was not in my head. Like, I could tell if something is in my head, but I heard the whisper. Like, you know the whisper? Like, when someone whispers in your ear, you could hear it. And it was only like, because I sleep on this side, and the moment, like, I heard that whisper, I opened up my eyes, and I was just in shock. Like, I was laying there in shock, scared to move for, like, a solid five minutes because I didn't know what to do. I did not know what to do because I thought that someone was in my room. I don't know. All these things started going through my head, and I didn't know what to think. Like, what do you think of that? When you hear something whisper in your in your ear, like something just fell. Out of all things, I heard something, like literally it was like, something just fell. And it was like fast paced. And then I woke up. My eyes opened up and I was like, I didn't move. I was scared to move. And yeah, like that happened. And I kind of ignored it. But then... What makes this 10 times worse is the next day my mom, she, start, she started asking me, I'm sorry, I'm like biting my nails because I'm nervous. Uh, she asked me the next morning saying, why were you calling my name in the middle of the night? And I was like, I wasn't calling your name. She basically said, I heard you calling me, but I was asleep, so I'm sorry I didn't come to you. I'm like, I wasn't calling you though. And she's like, I heard your voice in the middle of the night. And I'm like, oh my God. And it was the same night as well. So... I don't know what was going on that night. I really hope that never happens to me again because whisper in the ear was unreal. I did a little bit of research and um, a website, like a lot of websites said that when you hear whisper in your ear, it's usually your guardian angel trying to talk to you. So I don't know if it was my guardian angel. If it was, that's pretty awesome. But if it wasn't, hey... I hate my life. <laughs> yeah, I really hope it was my guardian angel, but if it wasn't, yeah, my life sucks. Um, what's new with you guys? <laughs> if that ever happened to you, if you ever heard whisper in your ear, please comment down below and be honest, because I really want to know if this is normal. You know what fell? It was my purse. And it was the same thing. It, it was a lot louder, but remember in my last video when I said something fell, like I was vlogging and I heard something fall? I will insert the clip right now if you guys haven't seen it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to end up vlogging there just because people won't be comfortable around the camera. But, yeah. Okay, something just fell. It was the same thing, but it was ten times louder and it was coming from my room. And the next morning, I saw that my purse fell off my desk. Like, how? How can it fall? It was empty and there was nothing in there to, like, balance it off. Like... And it was in the middle of the desk, so how could it fall on the floor? You know what I mean? It was just very creepy. The fact that something fell, and then something whispered in my ear saying something just fell. I literally woke up shaking, and I didn't know what to do. So that that's the update on my haunted house. I don't know what else to tell you guys, but that was probably 
second most creepiest thing that has happened to me um the first one was definitely when my camera moved on itself i i'm hoping i will never experience that ever again because that was too much it was so scary and i don't want to deal with that ever again because holy crap like it might not sound that scary now that i'm telling you guys the story but trust me imagine being woken up in the middle of the night by a whisper in your ear you know what i mean <laughs> So yeah, that's the update. That's all I wanted to tell you guys because I don't want to make this video too long. Plus, I'm using my window as my lighting and it's like 7 o'clock and it's getting dark. So uh, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. And if you guys have ever experienced anything like this, please comment down below and let me know. I am 100% sure I'm not mentally ill and um, I heard these things. It wasn't coming from my head. 100% sure. Ever since that incident, that never happened again, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's update on my haunted house. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a story time and update you guys on my house, so here it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, um, make sure to comment down below letting me know if you have ever experienced anything like this, because that would help me out, knowing that I'm not by myself, like, that would help me out. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.